Hello, welcome to episode 2 of uh, P2C TV, and just to prove that this isn't just going to be me rambling on and on, um, I'm going to do something a little bit practical um, at the moment, and this is totally unrehearsed, so get ready for fun. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, something called TMUX, that's how I say it, um, Terminal Multiplexer. Um, I was first brought to the attention of this by a guy called Nick uh, Quaranto, or Quaranto, don't know how to pronounce it. He wrote uh, this tweet, which I'll just put up. Uh, there we go. Um, he said, Tmux is great, it's like Scream without the constant pain. Um, and if you use Linux or um, Mac OS or whatever, and you kind of use the command line terminal a lot, and you know, you're probably familiar with Screen, it sort of allows you to have um, multiple um, sort of windows onto your sort of shell. Um, in one place and you can kind of detach and attach to it so that if like you SSH into a server you can um, you know keep uh, terminal sessions running there uh, multiple ones underneath screen and then SSH into it and use them um, so I was interested by this I thought, I'd never heard of Tmux before so I thought I'm gonna give this a go so um, this video is really just to sort of inspire you to give it a go yourself I'm no expert but I'll just give you a quick sort of demonstration as to how it works um, it's quite easy to install. You can use um, on OS X. You can use Brew install um, Tmux if you have Homebrew installed, which I definitely recommend. I'll perhaps do another screencast about that. Um, if you've got Mac ports installed, however, I'd have checked it works. You can do a, a sudo port install Tmux. That will also work. Um, and if you're on Linux, I imagine probably Ubuntu and Debian have it through uh, apt-get. Um, but I have installed it on CentOS um, just with a yum installed Tmux, so that all seems to work fine. Uh, but on here, I've already got it running, um, already got it installed rather. So if I type Tmux, press enter, and it's pretty much like if you run sh uh, screen, you end up with a new terminal within, um, you know, on the screen. But we have this status bar at the bottom, which I can't actually point to because I don't seem to have the mouse pointer on this uh, screencast system. Um, but basically, if you see where it says at the bottom left, zero, um, and then zero colon bash, that's basically saying that this is the, uh, you know, we only have one window open, and it's zero index, so window zero, we just have bash running. And what you can do, uh, the default key in screen is control A um, to do various features. In Tmux, it's control B. So if I had to go control B, C, that will create a new window, and you'll see that now I have one at the bottom, and one has got the sort of the star to the right of it, which means it's currently selected window. And I can go back and forth between these with a Control B zero um, and a Control B one. So that's very similar to doing your Control A zero and Control A one, um, almost the same commands there. Um, but Tmux can do a few more kind of cool things. Just one, really, I'm going to focus on, um, and that is splitting these windows into multiple panes. So if I go back to um, screen zero and then I do a control A, um, do, 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 oh sorry not control A, control B inverted commas, uh, you will see, aha, I have now two um, panes within the one screen. And you can then do a control B up, uh, control B down um, to move between them. You um, can also, if you know you you don't want to remember all the commands or whatever, you can do a Control B query, and that brings up you can see in the bottom pane I'm using just a list of all the different things that you can use once you press the Control B. So, for example, there's one feature which changes the um, changes the display format. Uh, yeah, that's it. Space next layout. So if I press Escape, that will get me out of there. Um, if I press Control B escape, that's not helping me much. Oh sorry, Control B space, what am I doing? Um, that puts me into horizontal view, um, so that can be quite useful, horizontal, vertical, um, and then you sort of have these other sort of variants that sort of will squeeze it up as tight as possible and so on and so forth, which yeah, whatever. Um, and then of course you can actually go Control B and split further and move around, so if I want to get into four, control B, there we go, now I'll split the whole thing into four, add another one in if I want, um, it gets a bit crazy after a while. 
Um, I have no idea how to actually exit all of these. Um, I'm sure there's a command for doing that, but as I said, I'm quite a newbie with this myself. This is really just to inspire you to give it a go. But if you keep typing exit, you do eventually uh, get out of the thing. Um, but if we are still in it, uh, you want to sort of do a detach. You can do it in the same way as screen and control B, D. Um, and then to get back into it, you can do uh, tmux attach. Or actually, it seems to be, uh, it seems to accept like the smallest thing that's unique. So I just do tmux A and it brings me back in. Um, so that's pretty, pretty, pretty darn cool. Uh, and as I said, you know, there's lots of other features. You control B query, tons of stuff in here. I've only worked through sort of four or five commands and just doing the splitting and the formatting has been sort of awesome so far. Um, but, you know, I've seen people using Tmux and they sort of found all these different features. You can set up VI um, style interface for it and so on. Um, actually, one other thing that's probably useful to show is that if you create a file, and yes, I do use nano quite a lot um, because I'm extremely lame. Um, if you create a file .tmux.conf, uh, in here you can um, put in like command strings to change things like you know, like you don't perhaps you don't want to use Control B, perhaps you want it to be Control A, like screen. Um, and I've actually got some code here to do just that, so I'll paste that in. Um, basically, it's just saying set the prefix, and the prefix is like your control B or whatever. Um, set that to control A, unbind control B, and then if um, control A is received, but then control A is received again, um, sort of send that through because you might actually want to press control A to get back to the start of a line or whatever um, in your uh, Unix terminal. So if I save that and again go to uh, Tmux again, and now if I want to split. You can see it's Control A this time. So there you go. Um, let's try Control A Q. Oh, right, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, it, it shows you the number of the panes. I'm sure there must be a way of navigating between those panes uh, using the number, but I haven't quite figured that one out yet. So, um, yeah, very cool. So um, let's bring this back to me. Yeah. Um, if you want to find, uh, there's a website about Tmux, tmux.sourceforge.net. Um, I just dragged this in here uh, just so you can have a quick look. Um, it's got some uh, you know, links for downloading or whatever if you know you can't get it in the way that I explained earlier. Uh, different screenshots and you know, it's quite some quite advanced sort of stuff going on here. It looks like some sort of crazy um, sort of early 80s uh, kind of colourful session going on. So anyway, yeah, that's all I can pretty much provide on this, but just give it a go because it's really cool. Um, and I'm sort of going to enjoy learning about it. But uh, if this helps even one or two of you, sort of give it a go then. Give it a go because you see it's totally easy. I'm totally idiot. I know how to use it. So um, give it a go. So I think that's all for now. Um, and yeah, we shall end there. Bye bye.